All right, the official Halloween update is now here in GTA Online. The previous weeks were pretty much kind of just leading up to it with, you know, smaller releases, low things here and there. But today we finally got everything that Rockstar has to offer for Halloween, as well as a bunch of free rewards to bonuses and a lot more. So let's get into it. First off, starting with the LS Carmi, we have the Ulmark Reinhardt. All you have to do is win a race in the LS Carmi races for two days in a row. Really easy challenge and decent vehicle as well. The opponent vehicle is the older one, which is the Universal Coquette Classic. The premium race that we got this week is Art to Arts and the HSW Time Trial is Sandy Shores to La Perita. Any time trial is Cypress Flats. Over at the dealerships this week, we got the Benefactor Vorschlag Hammer and the Fathom FR36. And as Simeons, we have the Hijack Rustin, the LCC Sanctus, the Conga City Cabrio, the Benefactor XLS, and the Dundry Landstalker XL. So really not the best vehicles at the dealership. And then of course, for the weekly challenge, if you win two death matches, you receive the Tan Demon Goat Mask and also $100,000. And then and for all the free stuff that we get just for logging in this week, starting off with the Max, we have the Flaming Skull, the Romance Kalaka, and the Flora Kalaka. For t shirts, we have the Dia de Muertos T. And then for completing the community challenge, Rockstar is giving out the red hooded skull mask, the orange, purple, and green glow skeleton onesies as well. And then for the Halloween contents and events, Rockstar has the Jack o' Lanterns back in online. These are pretty much just going to be collectibles around the map. You're able to get money as well. And I think the first time that you do, you're able to get some. Some, sort of, uh, some sort of t-shirt or something like that. I'll leave a link in the description to the video I made when it first released. We also have the possessed animals, which are animals around the map that can attack you. And then also the phantom car is back, which is another car that can attack you and the service. And Rockstar still does have the original stuff that were here in the previous week as well, such as the clone and other ones as well. And then for the bonuses, Rockstar honestly could do a little bit better, but we do have double money and RP on the Halloween death matches. So that includes like Slasher, as well as like Condemned, any Halloween modes that you know are back and do have bonuses on them we also have that on free mode events and challenges and the g caches which g caches honestly give a decent amount for the effort that's put into it and then there's also double money on the armored truck robberies which don't really even spawn in to be honest but i mean maybe the spawn rate is going to be a little bit more higher don't really pay that well either but it's great to see it back for sure um and then for the discounts we have that still on the halloween stuff which is going to be on the tattoos as well as the face paints and then for the vehicles that have been on discount pretty much the entire month we have that on the real hearse the brigham the lurch the Frankenstrange, the Rat Rod, and the LCC Sanctus. And for the regular discounts, Rockstar only has four vehicles this week. We have the Vapid Click Wagon, the Fister Comet SR, the Pegasi French Classic, which is definitely an OG one right there, as well as also the Shrafati Adder, one of the best vehicles for sure in G Town Line. So, again, all the links will be in the description to help you guys out with any of the new Halloween stuff that have returned or even new ones this week. If you guys did enjoy, subscribe, and put up post notifications. Don't forget to drop a like. I really do recommend playing G Town Line this week. The Halloween time is definitely one of the best times for sure in this game so definitely hope you guys do enjoy it and i'll see you guys in the next one peace